That takes us to the main event. Unless you wanted to hit the no. quickly, the Anthony Hernandez, he won by a uh, rear naked choke over Roman Kopilov. I didn't in the see first. that one. Okay. I didn't okay, see no that problem. one. My television. So we'll was, go right to the main event. Yeah, my TV or my my streaming, whatever the hell that is. When you get the pay per view from the, uh, you know, from ESPN Plus. Yeah. It was throwing kicks at me. Okay, and I was <laughs> trying not to get knocked out by those kicks, and it took me a minute to get to watch the show, but I finally got just in time for the ones I said. What I said last week, I mean, I thought Volkanovski, with his experience, I, I favored him to, to pull it off, but I knew how dangerous this fight was. I I um, I think I framed the whole, the whole breakdown last week of this fight around that. This is a guy that could be the next great one. Um, he's that good. I had watched this fight closely with Emmett. He showed a good shin besides everything else because Emmett can knock down buildings. Although Emmett never <laughs> caught him square on, but still, he caught him enough a little bit where it showed me he's got that shin, he's got that belief, he's got that concentration, he's got that resolve, he's got that it factor that he's not going to cave in, that he's not going to, you know, he's not going to allow himself to be taken to that down that corridor I was talking about where you get taken to a dark place. Uh... And great hand speed. Again, he looks like a pro boxer to me sometimes. Great hand speed, great power, puts combinations together beautifully, controls range beautifully. Um, he can step in and out, or he can press you, and that's what he did with Volkanovski. He pressed him, but he pressed him <laughs> buttoned up. He, he pressed him like you would press somebody in a Sherman tank. Uh, you know, <laughs> really, he, he covered up, he, he had the armor around him, uh, he was patient, he was controlled, he doesn't waste a damn thing, he's got good vision, great eyes, sees everything, uh, like I said, he doesn't waste a damn thing, he, he's precise, he's calm and calculating, so calm in an uncalm, uncalm environment, the great ones always are. The special ones always are. And he just went about his business. He he was like he knew what he was gonna do. He he tracked Volkanovski down. The first round Volkanovski was kicking, moving, trying to keep Tapuria from closing. <clears throat> he looked pretty good, Volkanovski, first round. You know, tried to keep more balance. Uh, he knew what he was dealing with, a, powerful, a guy who could punch, a guy who had fast hands. So he was trying to keep him from getting set um, to punch. And uh, Tuperia, again, not only good, but part of him being good is his cerebral part. Smart, talented, technically buttoned up, so solid technically. Uh, he... He caught he caught uh, Volkanovski with a big front leg kick, um, which he which he does besides his striking ability, which he throws really you know really well, um, really solid, and um, yeah, Topurio, uh was catching Volk. It, it was a uh, it kind of was a. Uh, it was a telling of what was going to happen if you if you could follow it that way because he was it, it was a a forecast of bad weather to come so to speak that there was <laughs> cumulus clouds coming because he Topuria, even though it wasn't significant he was catching Volk with right hands as Volk was stepping out trying to keep out of range and try to keep Trapiri off bounds, which he needed to do. And um he was he he was you could see he was like he had like radar where he once he saw that Volk was stepping out, he saw a pathway, um, and he started to explore that pathway to get to him with the right hand. And he he put it in his computer for the next round. Volk Volk was the busier man mixing it up, movement, kicks, strikes. 
Very close first round. Very close. Uh, and then the second round, of course, when the curtain came down. And what better way to announce that you're here, you're here to stay, you're here to be special, than to knock out on a stage like that a guy who, like I said, a year ago was considered one of the greatest of all time. Um, you know, and it's still one of the greatest. But what a way, what a way. Talk about going on Broadway and becoming a star. Uh, you couldn't have drew it up if you scripted it better for Tuperia. Um, yep. He pressed the fight, with again, with smart, well-covered-up protection, Behind his jab, that's the right way to do it. Uh, Falkonowski was moving, picking spots, but then all of a sudden, Topuria, what he saw from the first round, he exploded forward. He exploded forward, and he used a combination of what I call throwaway punches, a right hand to the body, a left hook to the head, and then a, another right hand to the head, and he used those punches to move Volkanovski, the great Volkanovski, to move him back into position where he could then have a chance to land the punch he wanted to land, the right hand, the finishing punches. Brilliantly done. Brilliantly done. As cerebral as it gets, as technical as it gets, did it fluidly, did it without hesitation, the moment was there. I think he saw the opportunity in the first round. And he saw Volkanovski pull him back. What does he do? He throws those that set of three punches to move him all the way back, to position him where his head would be where he wanted it to be. And then, I didn't miss this. At the end of all that, a little subtle step to the right before he throws the right hand, which put him in perfect, perfect position to land the right hand as Volkanovski at that point had been set up for the kill, had, had been moved into position where he was in perfect, perfect alignment to get caught standing straight up, vulnerable as hell, with a right hand. And, and I got to repeat it. A small little subtle step to the right by Trebiria before he threw. Patience. On top of all that talent. On top of all that technique. On top of all that, that explosive ability. Speed. Power. Patience. Eyes. To step a little bit to the right where he had the perfect alignment for the right hand. He reminded me a little bit of a young Pacquiao, where Pacquiao was so explosive, Ken, taking those steps, that first move to get in. You know, everyone said, oh, you know, you could see Pacquiao exploded with his punches, but he would also get there with his feet so yeah. he could explode with his punches. And I saw both of that with Topuria, where he, he exploded forward quick with his feet, and then, of course... He set off the dynamite with the right hand. It was, uh, uh, again, just if, if you're going to, you know, if you're going to set off fireworks somewhere and say, hey, it's the 4th of July, or you're going to put one <clears throat> of those, you know, you're going to put one of those, fla those big giant uh, flash lights, search lights up in the air, to show that you got a new restaurant open and you want everyone to come. He did that. He did the fireworks. He did the searchlight in the sky. You know, uh, he, he flew the plane over with the, with the trailing uh, <laughs> messaging, you know, f trailing behind the plane. He, when you always see when you're down this beach, you know, and, and yep. you see them fly that over, you know, uh, party at, at, you know, uh, big big Johnny's uh, Friday night, whatever. Well, the party was uh, down under for the victor and the new, oh, the the new man in town. 
uh, Tuberia, you know, the, maybe the new great one. <laughs>